Okay, we're about to do an impromptu beach trip. We've got uh, mopeds, generator, beer, water. We've got uh, muffin all rigged up. Sherry locket. Let's see. What we got the beds already made, luggage, some charcoal. How's my battery? 15.07, that's not good. I don't know what that's doing. DC is on. There's not really much in there. Okay, here we go. We're leaving for uh, Corpus Christi. Well, impromptu trip with Casita to the beach. Here's all of our wacky antics for the day. But I want you to come see this. Look at our little setup. Look at that. Why is there a truck stopped right there looking at us? I don't us? know. I don't know what do you got, babe? You got kolaches and coffee. and coffee. You got the generator and the bed kind of topping off the batteries and we've got our mopeds and uh, man we're loving this rug this is keeping the environment real clean I mean our campsite let me get myself some breakfast those are, poppy, those are poppy seeds and wish you were here come to the oh this might be our new favorite spot we're, so we're at um, we're at Padre National Seashore which is I guess North Padre in, in, a, in a sense, but it's about 10 miles south of Corpus Christi. Show the empty beach. Nobody's and uh, no one is here. Oh, uh, well, the weather this morning was oh. 73 degrees. It's 73 inside. And it's a little breezy now, but yeah, it's in the 70s. It's, it's in the beautiful. 70s. And it it didn't go below the, the 70s, and it's not going to go, oh, it's not yeah, going to get into uh, the 80s. 70, 78, I think. 78 is the high. Wow, just perfect weather. So, you need to come to this spot. I want to give you a little walk around of the uh, our first time taking the casita out. So of course, we went for the sandiest, dirtiest trip ever. Um, but I want to show you a, a little bit about uh, what we've got going on here. So, it's our 2021 casita. And we uh, it's the rear dinette one with the bathroom. I think it's called SD or, or something. So a few things we're trying out for the first time that we've really enjoyed. Um, this mat, this is a, you know, a Walmart $10 camping mat. And holy crap, it is helping so much to keep the sand out and whatnot. Also, we didn't realize, we, we brought the second table. Uh, this is on, this is Harbor Freight Specials on sale Black Friday for $24. But it is so nice to have two sets of folding tables. Meal prep and then one to eat on and whatnot. And we brought this, we were doing a seafood boil, and we were just going to tap into the uh, propane tanks up front, but the seafood pot is small enough, it actually fits inside the casita, so we didn't even use that. We brought an extra cooler just for the beer, but I want to show you this little thing. This is a battery and plug-in powered uh, ice chest freezer box. Right now we have food in it. It is 37 degrees. And it has an approximately 12 to 14 hour battery, so it's plugged in during the day to top off. And then at nighttime, it completely needs nothing. It just runs on its battery until the morning, and then we charge it up again. So right now we have all the seafood in it. And it's and it's deep. Look at my whole arm. And then we got oysters. Lovely. And let's go inside. The extra mats are going to help us kind of take care of all the sand. We have uh, we've been been lazy and haven't even taken the bed up and make it back in the dinette, but we've had no real reason to. This has been enough for us. Now, when we did food prep last night, it was a little bit tight on countertop space. So I would have appreciated having having the table set up but we were able to make just do and of course the seafood boil went right there we just had our morning coffee 
we uh, chose not to have the refrigerator right now it has all the coffee stuff and some kolaches from from Slovaks Slovaks but we'll we'll eventually put in those little small little toaster things in there um, so this this is just great having this running on propane and look how big this fridge is and uh, last night though we woke up and it was turned off so I had to return it back on but it, it only got to 50 so I have to keep an eye on that we took showers last night and I checked the water level this morning and after our I guess this is our third day we're at approximately half half water usage in the, in the tank I think we had the upgraded tank which is either 24 or 25 or 26 gallons we're halfway through with that and um, we brought mopeds. That's cool. But we don't we don't spend a lot of time in here. We're you know we're outside. It's the beach. But last night for dinner, instead of eating outside, we ate here at the table. And um, I mean it's 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 tight, but it's just fine. It's just lovely. It's cozy. It's cute. And I've decided that I like to sleep on this side because. The first night I slept on that side, and that little bit of a curve depleted a little bit of my um, leg room for my six foot self. So this time I slept, and we're a little bit off center, we're on the beach. This is the high side, so we put our heads there, and I slept wonderful last night. And we left the generator on it, and we had the air conditioner on, and it kept us nice and dry and cool until it ran out of gas this morning. Uh, what else? Really excited about the propane powered fridge. On all of our other ones, we didn't have the propane powered fridge, but man, this thing is just chugging along, ice cold, and tons of space. I have the top vent on the lowest mode. Right now, the uh, the generator is recharging that outside battery, um, so right now we're this thing is uh, at a charging rate of 13.8 oh, volts. So. All the batteries being topped off. We only really brought the generator because of to be able to recharge the secondary fridge. We would need power for that. Now they make the solar panel kits, but one day we'll buy that because that would that would be nice. Because the highs right now, and this is like December fifteenth or sixteenth, it's only like seventy nine in the high and low in the seventies. So we really don't even need the generator except for just top off the batteries. And look, we barely even used any of our, this is the our nice casita closet. Thanks, Lou, uh, Louis. Uh, but we haven't even filled it up yet. And what a wonderful view. And today for lunch, we're gonna do shrimp on the barbie barbecue pit with a lobster tail oh and and we have a lot of oysters we're going to be eating a dozen and a half today <clears throat> really wanted to show you everybody this this is i've been so pleased of this cooler and how well it will last all night on battery by itself so we're at padre national seashore which is about uh, 10 miles south of Corpus Christi and for a seven day parking pass it was $25 for camping and, and beach driving and parking so for 25 bucks this and the price of some uh, seafood we bought about $100 worth of seafood maybe a little bit more than that but that, that's about six meals of seafood so and then a $25 parking pass so that's so that's all of our expenses and just some diesel getting down here now this beach is nice enough where at about five to six miles you can make it on two-wheel drive and about mile six or seven is when it gets super soft enough where you need a four-wheel drive truck now we have one we're, we're not going to go down there because the beach is it's it's all the same once you just find a good spot away from everybody else you just put it in park uh, but it, it is it is nice having the truck they having the truck allows us well, not a four-wheel drive truck not only allows us to get far out here but we're also able to bring scooters 
and we did about we did about 15 miles yesterday on these things until our butts hurt too much and these are nice let me tell you a little bit about these these are some old I think what are they 19 1985 Yamaha QTs or Yamaha hoppers uh, and I have Honda Urban Expresses that we used to bring but I have since fallen in love with these because they are lighter they are 50 pounds lighter than the other mopeds and why is that important well because the wife and I just lift it straight up into the, in the truck bed so these are 100 pounds each and the generator weighs 100 pounds so uh, I mean I can I can I can lift it up into the truck myself but the wife and I just very casually put the front tire up on the bed and then we move to the back and just lift that up and it's really easy to load this up and I thought putting these aggressive tires on here was going to help but they drive like exactly the same on the sand <laughs> versus the street tires although I still probably will take that front aggressive knobby tire and put it on the rear and then move that rear tire to the front well assuming if they're interchangeable because I, I, I think having that rear tire uh, be knobby on both would help a lot more and of course these things get 100 miles to the gallon so we don't we could drive all day and just never even have to fill up anyways that's some moped story so if anybody wants something fun to do on the beach and i got these for 50 dollars each uh, and they weren't running i had to restore them but uh, i think they're probably valued about six to a thousand six hundred to a thousand bucks if you try to buy a running and driving condition one at a swap meet or something <clears throat> but it, they, they are just a hoot total total blast on the beach and you can just really cover some ground on them uh, anyways that's my rants on the mopeds for power what we've done is just got a harbor freight 3500 water love this generator nothing but good things to say about it and it's it's so whisper quiet in fact i'm i'm having a conversation right next to you now if you look closely i've done some janky stuff here with the exhaust pipe I just got a one inch flex tubing, uh, put it on the end there, and then routed it over. And that way I can close the whole entire assembly and it won't choke itself out on, on, on exhaust fumes. So this way it's only bringing in some fresh air and then pumping out over here. But that, you really don't need to do that. I just, I just, uh, I, I'm into weird stuff. But it's 3,500 watts, and I think the minimum for the Casita is a 3,000 watt to power that air conditioner. And hell, our coffee maker this morning, I looked on here and it was pulling 1,600 watts just to do the coffee maker. Thought that was wild. But having the truck bed, we're just we just don't even unload the uh, the generator. It just stays back in there. I don't want that thing getting full of sand, anywho. And I've, I've already. We ran it all last last night and all day yesterday, and it, it, it finally ran out of gas after two days, and uh, it only took about two and a half gallons. Um, anywho, oh, we also if you're going to the beach, you know it's important to have some recovery gear. We got snatch straps, we've got uh, sand ladder boards, and if you're a really adventurous person, a bumper with a winch and this is the ultimate recovery tool but now there's no you notice if you got a winch that's great but you need something to yank off of so um, what they actually sell is and I want to get one eventually it's called a, a pool pal it is like a big land anchor sticks in the dirt and as you pull the winch in it digs deeper and deeper until it gets enough friction and hold where it'll yank your truck out so that that is the last piece of equipment to fully be self-sustained and not have to rely on anybody okay. oh yeah see I, I stick it right in here and then i did a twisting motion okay all right jill's gonna open a seashell for i mean uh, an oyster yep. you got this girl it's it's open i just have to like 
continue to. Now, isn't there something you're supposed to like scrape behind the oyster to? Yeah, we'll we'll just do that with our fork. Fork. Wow! Look there at that, are. big boy. Good uh, job, babe. Nice, nice. On the beach with some fresh oysters. Oh, okay, you are the designated oyster cracker now. You know that, right? You're an oyster cracker. Got the touch. I'm glad we have the second table. Me too. And it's not fabric. You kind of well, get leverage on it. That's fabric in there. I'm trying to get. Okay. Yeah. I need a bigger uh, flathead next time. Are these alive? They are. They are alive. Uh -huh. But they don't have uh, a nervous system, right? They don't have a way to scream. <laughs> <Damn it>. What? <laughs> oh! Oh, you got low blown in your face again, huh? Wow. <laughs> Look at all that juice. You gonna drink that? No, I don't like the juice. Yeah, the juice is specified. Yeah, are you dripping it in my shoes? <laughs> it's a little bit windy, you might not hear me, but you'll see what we've concocted ourselves. Seven dollars and ninety-five cents for a dozen oysters at, at the local market. And of course they're usually like three dollars at some fancy yeah. restaurant or something. So for sixteen dollars, we got two dozen oysters, and we're eating them with the best view in the house. And uh, we've got this table is I like this table because the cause the cups sit down here, and there's no yeah. worry of them getting kind of uh, jostled or bounced off. And 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 there's you can reach the whole table with with the the, the glasses a little bit lower, so that's that's fun. We've got some cocktail sauce. We have some. What do we got? Macaroni salad, some fresh lemons and limes. Yeah. What do you got? You got a, a local, local Corpus brew. Christi Lawn brew. Ale. It's always nice to go to the local breweries. Oh. And, uh, well, not, well, drink local. Okay, we're going to enjoy our meal. Check back with you later. So we just finished oysters. Amazing. Great. Amazing. And now we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna start the charcoal up and we have we went to the seafood market beforehand There he is lobster uh, A what was it was it a main lobster? No, that's a rock lobster Where did, where did the lobsters come from? Um, I don't remember where the rock lobster. He said the crab was from Alaska. Yeah, I think that's Okay, so we're gonna barbecue that up. And hot dogs. Oh, I need to go. And hot dogs. Oh, and some fresh shrimp too. But we don't need Wait, those. Oh, the hot dogs are actually in here. We don't need Very those till the last second though. Wait, the what? The shrimp and the. Um, we're gonna do some shrimp too. Yeah, those will take too. We don't need them until the last second. Okay, we got our lobster ready. Look how big that is. It and hot dogs lobster. and some shrimp are about to go on to the barbecue pit. I don't know how to melt the butter. Maybe you don't know how to melt the butter. What does that even mean? We, we don't have a microwave. <laughs> Do you have a little glass dish or we something? We have the bowls that are like this, so maybe we can put it on there for a few seconds. Yeah, that'll, okay. that'll do. All right, well, um, well, if that's ready, then you want to put some salt and pepper on there and then uh, put it in? Yeah, my hands are dirty. I gotta okay. Some them. Okay. Oh, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Plastic. That's not good. This is the life. <laughs> the seafood life. Got our mopeds and we're ripping down the beach. Having a fun time. Singing the song of the beach. Maybe. <laughs> You having fun? Yeah. Oh man, gotta bring the mopeds. These are so fun on the beach.
and we're just able to cover some distance. Look at look at that. See, this is why you pay for the awning. Oh yeah, I don't want to. All right. Now, what are you thinking, babe? Okay, well that is our quick tour with our first time camping with the Casita. Padre National Seashore just south of Corpus Christi. Totally recommend this spot, $25. Thank you, I'll tune in next time.